the children of South Sudan that we just met, they mentioned that going to school is like a dream. Bayanya Moods Grade 5 Global Citizen Club is learning why 58 million children around the world are not in school like they are. It's a long way to school it's, and there might be people catching you and trying to shoot guns. They don't have washrooms. Yamut lived in Lebanon's war zone for 17 years, so she knows firsthand why it's important to teach more fortunate children about social justice and philanthropy. You'll be able to turn this empathy and compassion into action. Reaching young people has become a top priority for charities. Some recent studies show Canadians over 50 donate 75% of all individual gifts worth $4.3 billion. And the next generation isn't stepping up. Donors under 40 dropped to 22% in 2014 from 41% in 1985. As elderly parents pass down their wealth, charities like this one aren't necessarily benefiting from it. That's because their children may be using that money to pay down their debt, go on a trip or buy a cottage. If we're to look at about 30% of giving um, heading that way, if that doesn't translate into continued giving, that will put significant financial stress on an already stressed charitable fundraising system. The kind of fundraising approach that you might take for a, a 75 year old donor versus a 20 year old donor, that messaging, that very delivery vehicle might be quite different. For example, UNICEF Canada has done away with those orange change boxes kids used to carry at Halloween. It's now focusing on educating children. This is our giving catalog. The Mennonite so Central Committee recently sent out surveys to find out what projects donors will support. Uh, we'll have to be clear about um, our message and what value we bring to our donors. World Vision Canada's online catalog and child sponsorship program are still attracting baby boomers, but it's doing a lot of research to find out how to mobilize young people. We need to reach them when they are available. It's on their terms. What kind of activities would you or, or games you would plan? Back at the Global Citizens Club, they're planning a fundraiser for students in South Sudan. I really liked how we're helping other children like us all around the world. These young people, at least, are getting the message. Karen Pauls, CBC News, Winnipeg.